वेलकम बैक टू द क्लास लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग सेकंड चैप्टर व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ सेकंड चैप्टर यस इट्स अ ग्लोब लैटिट्यूड एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड सो इट्स कंप्लीटेड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सक्सेसफुली आवर सेकंड चैप्टर नाउ वी विल गो फॉर थर्ड चैप्टर बिफोर गेटिंग इनटू द थर्ड चैप्टर लेट मी आस्क सम क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द सेकंड चैप्टर लेट मी एग्जामिन अदर यू अंडरस्टूड दैट कांसेप्ट्स क्लियरली आर नॉट देन व्हाट इज ग्लोब What is globe? Yes, globe is a true model of Earth. Then, what are the uses we get from a globe? Globe, since it's a true model of Earth, we'll get information, exact information about the place, the continent, countries, river, the ocean, sea. You'll get exact size of all those things and informations. You will get it is useful to get knowledge. It's useful, more useful in the school because you'll be learning, you'll be concentrating on study about art in the geography. So that it's required. Then uh, there are many things which shown in this globe. There the two things which is not well known much or which is not there really on the earth surface. And what is there in the globe? It's actually is there on the earth surface, is not exactly. You can do. कॉन्टिनेंट्स आगेबूद कंट्री सगर समुद्र ये अदे रीति ग्लोब मेले तोर्स भूमि मेले इतक ग्लोबल तोर्स दैटिट्यूड्स अंड लांगिट्यूड लाटिट्यूड्स अंड लांगिट्यूड्स आर शो इन मैप अंड ग्लो वनली मैप अंड ग्लो बट इट नाट देर रियली अंद सर्फेस दर्स थिंग सो लाइक डीफ्ली सपरेटली डिस लाटिट्यूड अंड लांगिट्यूड Latitude. What do you mean by latitude? Latitude is an imaginary line which is drawn from west to east. It's a lateral latitude. How many latitudes we have? One eighty latitudes. What the latitude gives information about? What is the use of latitudes? Temperature. The change in the temperature we get a, by uh, getting the value of latitudes. When the latitude increases. Temperature decreases. Then uh, name of latitude, zero degree latitude. What is that zero degree latitude? Equator. Another special feature of equator is that divides Earth into two equal half. One is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. It's a very important latitude we say because because of this we can examine, we can see that from here it starts northern hemisphere, from there it starts from north. Or it is a southern hemisphere. It get information because of this. From equator to southern pole, end of a southern pole, how many latitudes we have? Ninety latitudes. From equator to the northern hemisphere, end of northern sphere, how many latitudes we have? Ninety. So ninety plus ninety, one eighty latitudes. So totally one eighty latitudes are there. There are five important latitudes. What are those? Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Equator. Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle. These are the five important latitudes. Then these latitudes place a boundary for the climatic zone or heat zone. There are three important heat zones. What are those? Torrid zone, temperate zone, then frigid zone. That's uh, clearly and deeply we discuss about the zones. Now after that we discuss about longitudes. What is longitudes? Longitudes are imaginary line, which drawn from longitudes, long, which drawn from north to south. This longitudes is these are lines or circle, uh, lines or circle. It's it's a lines because in a both the top point like a northern uh, pole and south pole, these longitudes will be connected each other. Every longitude. So how many longitudes we have? Three sixty longitudes. Now what is the name of uh, zero degree longitude? Greenwich meridian. Every longitudes are called with the name meridians. So there we call zero degree meridian as a Greenwich meridian because that meridian passes through the Greenwich city. So what is there in the Greenwich city? Greenwich city we have British Royal Observatory, Space Observatory is there. So from there that passes so towards what is Greenwich Meridian. We have that Greenwich in London, the Europe. 
England. There we have the green beach. So what is the use of longitudes? Longitudes are used to get information about time. Every longitudes it measures a time. That's we know. Then both, if you combine both the latitude and longitude, we get a great importance. Use what is that? We get an exact location of a place with the help of latitude and longitude. So what is GMT? Abbreviation of a GMT. Greenwich Mean Time. Greenwich Mean Time is a GMT. IST. What is IST? Indian Standard Time is IST. So what is the value of Indian Standard Time? 9. 82 degree 30 minute east is the value of Indian Standard Time. So that's what briefly we discuss about second chapter. Now we will go for the third chapter. It's very easy. We have only two concepts. There are two concepts. Also, it's a very uh, having a less information. That means it's a very easy to understand. And we know already we know about that concept. I required only one uh, one period. Means 30 minutes is required to complete this whole chapter. Within a one period, we can complete this whole chapter. Because since it's online. But uh, uh, I will try, I will make a two classes because I have to write on the board, I have to give you time for writing, so it takes a two classes. So we will start our third chapter. The name of our third chapter is about let me get an answer from you people. Our earth and on the earth's surface we get a different seasons in a one year. We get a different season, isn't it? What are those seasons we have? Winter, summer. Rainy season, spring. These are the four important seasons we have. How it happens? Why it happens? Why it happens? Then we get a day and night on the surface. How it happens? Because our sun gets birth and it dies in the union. Every day it gets birth and it dies. No. no. We discuss already about this. So we get a sun like a day and night. And we get a different seasons in a year, four different seasons in a year because of rotation and revolution of the earth. So that's what we'll be discussing in this class, rotation and revolution of earth. So motions of earth is a chapter name, motions, motions of the earth. Motions is nothing but moments. Movements of earth, we are discussing the movement of earth here. What are those movements earth does? One is shaking, another is jumping. Is that? No, only two movements. Earth does only two movements. One is about rotating, another one is revolving. About these two only we will be discussing this. Means its chapter is only about these two concepts. One is about rotation. And revolution. We discuss first about rotation. Rotation. What is rotation? The movement of earth on its axis. Axis, what is that axis? Axis is an imaginary line. It's an earth. And here we have its axis. It's an imaginary line. Actually, this axis is not there. Axis is not there. Here we have south pole, we have north pole, it rotates. It's the center point. It rotates like this. So it's called as axis. But it's not found really. It's imaginary line. So this, the rotation of earth in its axis is called a, like a movement of earth in its axis is called as rotation. Rilling. It means it's a rilling. Otherwise, movement of earth. Movement of earth. On its axis is called rotation. So, what is axis? Like so, have understood about this rotation. The movement of earth, suppose here is earth, the movement of earth around itself, the movement of earth around itself, it's about the rotation. The axis 
The axis is an imaginary line. Is an imaginary line. Which passes from which passes from north pole to south pole. It's an axis. So here this axis it makes or it uh, turns in the 66 and a half degree in the orbital plane So this axis that makes that turns that means uh, here we have the earth is known. So it's what is axis, imagine the line. We have north pole here, north pole, uh, south pole here. Our earth is actually tilted, it's not positioned like this. Strictly it's not positioned in the solar system. It's tilted towards 66 and a half degrees that 23 and of degree 33 and on of degree is tilted towards the uh, western direction so if you make this stride you get like this it's an exact a straight position it of any planet but it's tilted so if you take it as an uh, angle you will get a 66 angle 66 degree angle so that's what we said this axis it has formed, this is axis, is not This axis it has formed 66 and of degree here. In the orbital plane. So what is this orbital plane? Orbital plane. What is that orbit? The path. It's a path. Otherwise, right, orbital. Plane, orbit first. Let's understand what is orbit. Orbit. What is orbit? It's a path. It's a uh, like a place where or it's a way on the path which earth moves or rotates. The path of earth which revolute otherwise move around the sun it's called as orbit the orbital plane Plane, is, plane which is made by orbit is called as orbital plane. Is that clear? Right on. Axis is an imaginary line, is not. So this earth rotates itself and that moves around the sun in its own orbit. Suppose here it is a sun and here we have earth. 
So this earth moves around the sun in its path. This path is called as orbit. So here, the gap in between the earth and the sun here we call it as orbital plane. So if you, it's like a, a flat area, is not? It is uh, it shown like this. Suppose if you make exactly how it is positioned in the solar system, if you make like this, you will get a sun over here and earth. Sun here, middle earth and earth here, it's not, it forms like this. So it's a plane area. So it's called as orbital plane. So this orbits, it forms, suppose, now it is a sun, is not. Here we have earth. Earth is moving like this. So it's plane, it's called as orbital plane. So it has a plane, it has made plane. Earth doesn't move like this. Suppose it's a sun, it's a earth, it doesn't move like this. It don't move like this, not. The earth moves in the same one length in the same direction and it will be like a plane area. It's not having a zigzag wise. It don't move in any uh, undulation movement. This earth moves in the same plane, like you know, one length in the plane is called as plane. So it moves in the same place. So this path, this route is called as orbit. So this orbit creates a plane like this, it's called as orbital plane. Is that clear? So, because of the movement of earth, the rotation of earth, we get a day and night. Day and night, caused by rotation of earth. Caused and the reason. Day and night avadhika karma caused the reason is the rotation of earth. The reason for having day and night on our surface is about because of the rotation of earth. So the line, the line which Wait, wait. Why do we get a day and night? Why do you experience day and night? Why? What is the reason? We get a day and night. Why? So because uh, the sun come up, it's a day, and it go down. We cannot see the sun because it's under our there like earth. So the reason we cannot see, so it's a night, is it not? No, here. Yeah. Actually, it is not. Suppose it's the sun. It's the sun. Here we have earth. We get a day and night difference on the earth's surface because our earth is in a spherical sharp, uh, like a shape. Otherwise, geoid shape. It's in the geoid shape. Basically, it's in the sphere. Hmm? To understand, better understanding, it is in the sphere shape. That's the reason. At that time, every place of our surface cannot get a sunlight. Suppose the off sphere or hemisphere which faces or which faces towards the sun that get a sunlight, then we call it as a day. The remaining off other side or off other earth surface don't face the sun, it don't get a sunlight, it's called as night. There they experience the night because the sunlight doesn't go like this, is it not? Doesn't go and turn back like this. It is not a wind. Is it not? It's not a rocket. So here the light it goes straightly. It never bends. Light of anything it goes straightly, is it not? So that's how the whatever the places of earth it position or which faces towards sun, it gets a sunlight, it's a day. And remaining other portion that lies in the dark. 
So as a door, this, our earth is tilted. It is tilted actually, it's not, it is equator. It is tilted. So the line which separates our or which separates day and night is called as circle of illumination. It's a circle. We call it a circle of illumination. Why? Suppose it's a here we are there getting it is a northern pole. Suppose A real B. We are looking at our earth by standing here. We are standing there and we are looking at our earth, suppose. So now it is visible like this. It's a north pole. They are down exactly, they have a south pole. So here this half of this earth they are getting sunlight because sun is here. And here they are facing the darkness that is a night for them, it's a day for them. Here we have a circle. Here it joins the same place after completion of one road. This one. It starts here and it completes one road. It's called as a circle. So this is called as circle of illumination. Illumination means it divides the night and day as a separate two hemisphere. So it's called as circle of illumination. You understand? This circle of illumination actually it is not fixed in one place. It every second changes. The circle of illumination every second and every millisecond it changes. Why? Because up it is continuously moving. So the reason it changes, the circle changes and this movement because of the movement of our rotation of earth. We experience day and night on the earth's surface because of rotation of earth, rotation of earth. So we experience this day and night because of rotation of our earth. Here the line or circle, the circle, otherwise we may say line which separates. which divides otherwise day and night is called circle of illumination Circle of illumination. <coughs> this circle of illumination, it doesn't become parallel to the axis. The circle of illumination. Illumination, it does not become parallel to axis. This does not become parallel. You know the meaning of parallel? Parallel, and you know, parallel, right? Equal here, equal lines, parallel lines, equal lines. This is called as parallel lines. So this circle of illumination it does not become parallel to the e axis. Axis of the moment, it's a imaginary line which is passes from north to south pole directly, isn't it? So here it's the earth. 
our axis is like this, means it is tilted, it is north pole and here we have south pole. The circle of illumination, that means here we have a sun. So when the sunlight falls over here in the half hemisphere that experiences day, half hemisphere that experiences night. So this is called a circle of illumination. This circle and this axis line does not become parallel. It will, it will be not parallel. It is not parallel with that. It is not. So it is about this or this sentence is explains about this. That means the circle of illumination. Here we have dark, means night. It's a circle where if you step here, you get a day, and if you, if you step there, you'll have a night, is it not? So that's the circle of illumination. This circle will not become parallel with this axis because circle is a straight one and axis is tilted towards it. So that's the reason. Is that clear? Hmm. What? Is it over? So how many hours does earth take to complete one rotation around the earth itself? How many hours it takes? Yes, 24 hours. Earth, earth completes, earth complete. Earth complete one rotation around itself in twenty four hours. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation, one rotation around itself. So in this one, uh, 24 hours, one rotation, this 24 hours is divided into 2, 12 and 12 hours. 12 hours, the day uh, like earth surface faces more sun, so it's called as a day, and the remaining 12 hours is a night. So exactly earth surface doesn't gets the sunlight for the 12 hours exactly that don't, that don't get a darkness for the 12 hours exactly it don't happen season wise it changes sometimes the day it will be very longer night is short sometimes it makes ultra sometimes it will be equal 12 hours day 12 hours night so it happens because of revolution so we will discuss about that then uh, Right on this point. Is it over? So we have one sub concept to discuss in another dissertation. Suppose, um, what will happen if Earth does not, does not rotate? What might be the thing so on our surface? Suppose Earth does not rotate. What might be the position? What might be the position? What might be the things for the earth surface and the earth surface if the earth does not rotate itself? Hmm? Think. Huh? What are those? One side of earth always it will be facing towards the sun. Suppose it is not moving, it is not rotating. One side of earth it always moving towards the sun. Then this place, this place, other area, it will be under the sunlight every time it gets a warmth. 
it will become very hot throughout the year every day it will be facing the sunlight so it fact it, it might have become very hot and whatever the living organisms are there here human the human beings animals birds and all those things that may not have getting a good uh, condition of a climate to live there within a short or bit of a time they might have died with the vegetations like a plants and trees might not got a good condition to live there is not trees might have they have uh, grown but uh, like uh, animals and the human beings it's not suitable temperature or climate to live there then beside there means opposite side always that sphere will be facing the darkness so when it become a darkness they may face a very cold everything it will be freeze or frozen there is not because of a very low temperature the humans animals birds cannot be live over there. so if it is not rotating the earth suppose it was not rotating the exist of a uh, life existence of a life on the earth surface it would have become very difficult so the living or the life on the earth surface it would have become very difficult for that if suppose it was not rotating so now whatever the things is going on naturally and the human what we are activities we are done doing so it's all correct actually it is going in the right path but we are thinking in a negative way so so every action which is done by the nature it's in a correct and right path is not so so what would have happened if earth does not rotate it's a question what would have happened if earth does not rotate earth sutta irilla thanna sthana sutta antandre yen aagtayitu and by that time the one side of earth the earth will be facing sun every time so so that it would have experiencing warmth and hotness very warm you know suppose the earth surface which is facing towards the sun every time it would have face very warm and hot so that reason the life on this would have not possible then about other side other side of earth means dark side would have frozen and become cold too cold every time so because of these things the life on earth so would not have been possible so life on earth would not have been possible if this things is happen if means if the earth does not rotates the life on the earth does not easy it will be it would have very difficult to live on the earth surface
the one side which is facing sun may experience warmth and hotness every time. Then other side would have frozen and become too cold. So because of that the life it does not have this would not have been possible for the earth surface. So it's about rotation. It's a very simple concept. Rotation is nothing but movement of earth itself. The rotation, building of earth on its own axis. And we discuss about circle of illumination. Axis, orbit, orbital plane. So these are the concept terms what we discuss in this class. It's about the rotation. Then in next class, we'll continue with the discussion about revolution. We have two concepts to discuss in this chapter. One is rotation, another one is revolution.